you know, we could be uh, seeing ourselves a Sega Dreamcast Mini, or a Sega Dreamcast Classic, however you want to go about it. Point is, I would love to see that as long as Sega doesn't screw it up. Sega, don't screw it up. Anyway, it's not confirmed or anything. However, Sega did throw out a tweet out there going, what was your favorite class, or what was your favorite uh, Dreamcast? With several of the D Dreamcast models, because they came in different colors and such. And um, it's led to speculation that maybe, just maybe, Sega is thinking of getting to that retro classic mini uh, market that Nintendo has apparently started. Which is totally fine by me. If Sega wants to make a comeback, they need a hit. And I like Sega. I mean, I don't really care too much for Sega nowadays all that much. But I do like Sega. Uh, at least back in the day. <laughs> but uh, a Dreamcast would definitely be nice to have out as long as they don't muck it up. So what exactly is the Dreamcast? The Dreamcast is a system that was way ahead of its time. 3D had internet connectivity through uh, modem or ethernet. And you know what? It, it was a great system. Honestly. The bad part about me owning one was I didn't get one until about the time the Dreamcast went under, and I didn't know about it because the internet wasn't that huge of a thing just yet. I mean, heck, I was still running on dial-up myself. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but uh, the Dreamcast had a pretty good selection of games, uh, several games you have may have played. You know, I first saw on the Dreamcast... And several other people may have seen them on the Dreamcast for the first time, or in an arcade variant. Um, and they've got a whole host of games that they could bring to the Dreamcast if they chose to. And that would be pretty great. What kind of games could you expect on a Sega Dreamcast Mini, you ask? Well, simple. Like, Sonic Adventure 2. I love Sonic Adventure 2. Not too much about the first one, but I think it vastly improved on the second one. So, you know, having that is pretty good. And uh, I, I do like Saddle, Sonic Battle Adventure or whatever it is. I think it was the other variant of it, too. Anyway, but, uh, you know, they've got Resident Evil, Code Veronica X, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Love that game, since uh, I can't seem to find it anywhere on the PlayStation side of things. Um, you know, put it on the Dreamcast. <laughs> that would be great. I'd buy it for that. Um, Soul Calibur. Shamu. Um, Street Fighter 3, The Third Strike. There's so many different things. Uh, you've got Crazy Taxi. Uh, Skies of Arcadia. Power Stone was definitely a big one. Um, a couple of Gundam games. Uh, but yeah, uh, San Francisco Rush 2049, if you were a fan of that kind of game. The Dreamcast has quite a bit of a library to it, surprisingly enough. I mean, the main reason it kind of died is, if I remember correctly, they didn't really have anything um, protection-wise, and it was super easy to copy discs and everything. Um, I know I got mine, and then somebody gave me a disc that had, like, every single NES game on it or something. And, yeah, <laughs> that was a thing. Uh, but, yeah, Sega screwed up with the Dreamcast majorly. And uh, it could have been a lot bigger than what it was. We could probably still see Sega in the console uh, market today if they didn't screw up the Dreamcast. But if they want to do a Dreamcast Mini, I am totally on board with that. Um, Especially with some of the things that they had on there. Uh, Fantasy Star Online. I don't know how they would manage that one. But it would be nice to see that come back somehow. Uh, you know. Uh, but yeah. Dreamcast Mini. Um, if there was a Dreamcast Mini. How much do you think it would cost for one? Do you think it would be close to around, I guess, the Super NES version? Or do you think they'd go on the PlayStation route and put it close to a hundred bucks? Anyway, would you even be interested in one? These are things I'd like to know down in the comments below. Until then, I will talk to you later. See ya.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.